Hi, my name is Brian Catalano, and I'm going to show you how you can turn your Sony a7C into the FX3. So you see this finish now? It is a stealth gray, sort of that matte sort of finish that the cinema series of FX3, FX6, FX9, Venice all have. And I got that by using the Alpha Guard stealth gray uh, vinyl wrap. And I'll show you some outdoor before and after because it probably doesn't look as good on this uh, on my GoPro that I'm shooting now, but just to give you an idea of what it looks like. You can sort of see how similar, and I'll put up some comparison pictures. And when I'm shaking it, you don't hear a rattle. Do you not? I do not. So I'll give you some bonus tips on how I make this rattle free. So you can put it on a gimbal, you can run and shoot with it, and you don't always have to unhook these. Boom. Now the reason I'm doing this tutorial is because I'm shooting this now on my B camera, my GoPro. So excuse the digital look of it. Um, this is my A camera and I love it. The Sony A7C, it's, it's amazing. I've done all these shorts on it and the picture quality and everything about it is pretty amazing. There's only a few things that I wish it had that it doesn't, but I know this is gonna be a good camera for a long time for me. However, I wish this was my B camera and I, my A camera was the FX3. Now, that's not the most perfect camera, but I love it. I love it for what it can do that this can't, but I also love it for its aesthetics. So I'm turning this into the FX3 in so much as I can by doing a quick little cosmetic change to it. And hopefully that'll tide me over. So to do that, I ordered this. It's an Alpha Guard, I believe that's how it's pronounced, skin. That's A-L-P-H-A-G-B-R-D. And it comes in these 3M vinyl sticker sort of um, cutouts for you to place on your camera, which is supposed to be like an anti-scratch resistant um, that you can remove once you're done with it. And I got this special custom color called Stealth Gray, I believe. So you have to, when you're ordering it, you go into the special menu and you look up the Stealth Gray code, which is like S-T-L-H, and um, then you can order it. And it got here really quickly. So I'm gonna attempt to put it on. I'm really nervous about it. I, I'm sort of a perfectionist. Uh, if it doesn't go right, I'm nervous and I'm gonna hate it or I'm nervous how long it's gonna take, but I'll try to speed up the process for you and show you how you can actually customize the pieces themselves to look like the FX3, because not everything on the FX3 is in that, that gray, right? There's the bottom pieces aren't like that, most of the back isn't like that. So it's actually easier to do this because I'm not gonna be using most of the pieces or half of the pieces but there may be some modifying of cutting pieces. I'm nervous about that too, because I don't want jagged edges, because then being OCD, I may just have to throw everything away and burn down my house. Um, so we're gonna do this together. I'm gonna sort of do some sort of time-lapse effect on this, I'm not sure, and just pray for me, I guess. And well, since you've already seen this, since I did that little reveal, don't even know if that turned out well, um, you sort of know if it did go well. So past me is nervous, future me is probably more content, which is usually the case. All right, let's, let's get into it. Okay, so I'm gonna do this sort of wide shot. This is a weird angle. I don't think too many people will unbox do this angle. Hi, how you doing? But I wanna do a sort of a wide establishing shot to show you all the pieces that I have and some extra things that I brought, such as these tiny scissors, just in case I wanna give some of that modifying that I talked about. And now it comes with, in the packaging, these, uh, or you, you get these little add-ons, which is this lifeguard toolkit, which is sort of these soft tweezers that will help you peel off smaller pieces, place on, and then this little squeegee to push out the bubbles. Uh, I got some of my own sort of 3M wipes to clean it down before I put the stickers on. And then of course, in the envelope, they give you, not the directions, which would have been nice, but 
you can scan the direction. So I'll be doing that, but it gives you some sort of steps of cleaning. Um, you can either do a camera, you can also do the lens, um, and then the pieces themselves. So I, what I did was I looked up pictures of the FX3 and sort of from every angle to see what was black and what was silver. And then I've sort of looked at these pieces and I could see what things I just don't need whatsoever, such as the handle. Um, it doesn't really make sense for me to put handle on this um, or vinyl on the handle. Um, no explanation needed. It just doesn't make sense. Now, there's a lot of pieces that cover this side and the bottom and around here, which is not on the FX3 silver. It's black, so it actually should be a lot easier. I should only be having to do this sort of piece and then the top, not even this. Now, one sticker that I've already put on um, as a test was I did the shutter button. Uh, I didn't realize how much I disliked how the shutter button was silver on this all black camera until I put this sticker on, which is really nice. Um, so that was to let me know, okay, I can do this. That was my like testing ground. So here I'm gonna start going and I'll start doing a little speed lapse um, so you can sort of catch up that way and you don't have to hear me keep talking about how nervous I am. So I've got this in. So the next piece is, I should say, goes this way. Um, it is a two, a six, and a three, I believe. Now, the one thing that the FX3 doesn't have is this is all black. So I'm gonna have to cut this little edge off and I'm gonna have to figure out how to do that. So that'll be the first main modification. So I've got razor blades just in case. I might just try these little scissors and just see if I can cut a straight line. Let me just quadruple check that this is right. That seems to be right. Okay, so I'm gonna have to consider that there's a little lip I'm not cutting, I think I'm cutting just a little bit down there, I think. So I'm gonna try just by cutting the tip, see how smooth that goes. Okay, seems like an easy cut. So the next piece I'm gonna modify is this piece. As you can see, it does the front, and I'm not gonna do this or this, but this wraps around and the bottom is not done in the FX3. So I'm gonna to have to make a cut somewhere above
So, so you probably can't see these pictures, but I'll post them up, but you can see. And so the only thing I have left really now is uh, the doors. So that's, I believe, the last piece. So the next thing I wanna do is show you, this is my bonus tip is how to make these things not rattle. So you can put it on a gimbal, you can just film with it without it making noise. Um, to do that, I got a few separate things. Obviously, obviously I've got the peak strap, uh, peak design straps, um, clips I should say. And I got these little protector thingies, I don't even know what they're called, don't care to know. But I got this because I thought it was gonna be easier to hook on and off, but I already have a bloody nail because it's hard to do. And then the secret ingredient are these e-boot replacements. They're for Air Buds, they're on Amazon. And I got a size of, um, like a mixture of different sizes. So these go in the earbuds. I've never used these, so I didn't even know. But you can see, you take that and you flip it inside out. I'll show you, let me do, take these, flip them. Try to flip them inside out. And then we're gonna cut. <laughs> try to flip them. Then we're gonna cut them, put them here. And now that's gonna be the dampener because then we can put the hooks on and everything like that. So I'll show you how to cut. So now you've got this left, it's a little jagged, but I could cut it down. But I think that will do. So then, put this thing over it. Now we're gonna squeeze the ring in. I don't wanna bust my nail again, so I'm gonna use a butter knife or something. No rattle. Eh? Eh? Bingo? Eh? What do you think? So that's my modification. 